Whoa, is that Kevin? Please, the baby, no! Oh, oh, oh. It's 100 degrees, I'm gonna- I've literally been laying here for like an hour. Who is this weird little man? I'm just gonna let him stay out here. My tree got struck by lightning. Precious little creature. Sure is nice being much larger now, so I can just- Good morning, everybody. I have my world's best grandpa mug here with some mice in it. Patwick here is now on one bottle for every two days, which is so nice because I can leave him for a while. But he still does just annihilate these bottles. Look at this precious little creature. We also got all of these logs in here. These are all for our new enclosure for the owls and for the foxes or any other animals that we get that are going to need to climb. In the last video, you guys saw me buy this material and now it's finally here but patrick here is doing such a good job of growing up and becoming a real boy eventually he's gonna stop looking like a female and then he's gonna have this beautiful black bronze coloration good morning mr ounce i put a bunch of new hay in here for him so he can eat it good morning and mr ounce loves patrick how's about you guys give each other a kiss thank you but because it's 100 degrees i'm gonna put oh i'm gonna put this boy inside he can obviously handle the heat a little bit but i still just want him to be comfy in here these crazy Cringe uh, uh, Kimptons are still underneath this couch. And by the end of this video, I promise I will fish them out to show you guys how friendly they are. But they don't know Big Ounce just yet either. But Big Ounce, being the perfect saint that he is, loves all creatures. And I've never seen him bite someone or hurt someone ever, except for whenever you take his food away. But if you never show him any food in the first place, he's perfect. Well, if I put them down here with them, they're not going to be mean to them, but they're going to be like, who is this weird little man? But they are a lot better than they used to be. But all right, it's time to feed and check on Gustavo, who is doing very, very well. As you can see, he's super healthy and the water's the perfect temperature for him. He is very active today. I might actually have a separate setup in here for him on the really hot days. Here you go, Gustavo. Eat this, buddy. There, oh, okay. I'm running out of all of the mice that I have in the fridge. And pretty soon I'm going to just start feeding him whole shrimp because it's easier. What's amazing though is that with full sun on a really hot day, this little guy is just happy in there and the temperatures are perfect. Wow, he just annihilated that. Beautiful little Morlay crocodile with a messed up tail that we rescued from a cringe situation where his original owner was keeping him in Tupperware. <laughs> but I'll fill these up with water and I'll be able to keep him in here full time too with a lamp. Pub and queeb moment. In. Right now in the barn, it's about 90 degrees, 97 degrees. And I'll check real quick with this. Oh, calm down, boy. You see, this spot here would be perfect for him, too, because this little spot here doesn't get sun unless the sun is right there. All right, let's take a look at this thermometer. Oh, almost got me there. 85 degrees in the water. That's perfect for him. Okay, fine. I'm just going to leave it there for you. I know he's going to eat. There you go. Precious little creature. Well, we have these holes dug here for the flight pen, and we just barely missed this sprinkler system line here. Look at that boy running around look at this man he's just freaking out because of all the construction but he loves jumping around like this man we just had a crazy storm but take a look at this you guys i got a protein bagel we're halfway done making these bad boys and these things are gonna go on the ground tomorrow patrick here have some bagel patrick is safe and healthy as you can see my tree got struck by lightning i actually just realized this oh my gosh well it doesn't look like it broke any of the lumber we needed for tomorrow but look at this we got a lot of rain guys man i think that was from lightning and whoa, is that Master Ugwe? Boy, where have you been hiding for the last couple days? I'm pretty sure this man's just been hanging out either underneath the house or just on the other side of this property. But honestly, I don't really mind as long as he doesn't try and dig out of the fence. Both the prairie dogs are still hiding in the hole. And one of my contractor's daughters begged me for Mrs. Ounce. And I said, I'll think about it. And then I punched her in the face and said, tell your dad to get back to work. But look at this, you guys. Things are coming together really nice here. After months, years even of waiting, we finally have insulation. And the city inspector pushed back our inspection date from today to next week <laughs> he literally could have built this house in three to four months if it wasn't for the city but things are finally coming together and this is going to be a nice little home for me and then we can finally use this building as our full-time wildlife rehab the trailer will just be a room for songbird and the barn will be used for a whole slew of things our pigeon boys were safe and sound under here during the storm and both our jabringo bones are healthy and happy here with all these homing pigeons who will eventually teach them how to leave and come back 
And look, that one's sitting on an egg. I decided to refill the cappy pond because it was getting dirty. And look how wet these little dinguses are. But because it was 100 degrees today, I'm letting the cappies out to swim in the pool. And I got all this old fruit for our capybara mukbang pulley pulley channel. That's right, guys. We have a capybara mukbang pulley pulley channel. Whoa, was that hit rapper and artist the baby? That's not your food. State of the art channel, probably one of the best uh, videos on YouTube. It's not run by me. These fellas sure are loud. But all right, I suppose it's time to let these cappies out so they can swim. Come on, boys. And I'm going to close this up so I don't have to round the kangaroos out of here later. But these boys are going to hang out here and graze for a little bit. I'm going to let them cut all these weeds. Because unlike the sheep and the goats, capybaras like to mow things down like a golf course. But look how beautiful this is, you guys. I love these rainy days here in Texas. But the cappies are munching away over there. Once they move over here, I'm gonna let them eat these things for our other channel. So if you aren't subscribed yet, what a man, Uncle Ben looks real distraught. I I might hurt people. Listen, guys, Uncle Ben's in a real bad place. Big Outs and I have been homeless for two weeks now. And my girlfriend left me, you guys. She thinks I'm a joke. She said, you'll never get 60,000 subscribers on your state-of-the-art capybara mukbang pui pui. Please prove her wrong, you guys. But look how precious this little boy is, you guys. He was just a tiny little bean with curled toes. Now he's way taller than me, and I think he weighs more than me, too. He don't really think about anything, though. Whoa, was that to baby? They're turning into convertibles. Okay, now that the cappies are over here, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and feed them. But wow, just take a look at this, you guys. To think this all used to be a crack house and dump. Man, I can't wait to feed these to these guys. Oh, do you guys really think I was going to feed them this for this channel? When there's an entire channel on YouTube dedicated just to that? Okay, they don't seem to be too interested in the warm de melon. Da baby, what are you doing over there? Oh, is that hit rapper and artist, da baby? Look how cute he is when he's all wet and matted. Oh, at least his coat is now all clean he doesn't have any more burrs in there please the baby no honestly you know what guys it's been a good long while since i got into a real fight with this man and while those tree frogs are barking over there i think it might be a perfect little time for me to get a spar time to show this man who the real boss is stop scratching yourself well it would seem that these capybaras oh oh gosh oh gosh oh that actually scared me he has the high ground now too get back to baby stop it oh they say you want to get another thing in between you and them when they get aggressive whoa whoa Oh, oh my god. I don't think these guys want a wander melon. Whoa, guys, check this out. We have so many of these tiny little toads here. Every time I come out here nowadays, I see hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of these tiny little toads. Matter of fact, chances are these cappies are probably eating some of them by accident. Hey, what's wrong, guys? You've hardly even touched your like button. But okay, guys, looks like these fellas are getting hungry. I suppose for the rest of this video, I'll go out and I'll check on the coyote trap. And maybe I'll give Kevin a little kiss on the lips on the way. Well, you back up so I can check on that little trap behind. He's just gonna try and bite me the second I. This is another perfectly viable option at getting him to stop. There you go, buddy. We'll give him that, and then I'll open this gate and go on in there. That's all you need to do is just give. Oh, he dropped it. Sure is a giant puddle right here, I suppose. Okay, now I'm gonna have to. Bite him with my hands, I suppose. Whoa, is that Kevin? Sure is nice being much larger now, so I can just. Grab him on his wing and attack him. <laughs> Man, I paid for this nice little house for them and they never use it. Okay, the trap hasn't been sprung yet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn. Oh, is that a nest? Did I just find Kevin's secret nest? And this is a newer egg, honestly. Well, okay, I guess we kind of gave up on these ones, huh, Kevin? Whoa, is that Kevin? <laughs> Please leave. Got another egg just in the mud right there. Well, the baby knocked over the ostrich foo. All right, that's it, guys. I'm sick of this and I'm out of. <gasps> They're eating. Please enjoy the sounds of the rain and Gort and Quandale eating a wander melon. One of them is just this for about 10 to 20 minutes straight. Oh, what's that? I bet you guys wish you were subscribed to Capybara Mukbang Pooey Pooey because then you'd get to see a whole 10 minutes of me doing this. You know what? Maybe even longer, you guys, because it's storming and nice out. I might even film a 30-minute video for you guys. Oh, am I even filming the baby eating this honeydew? Oh, I guess you're going to have to see this on the other channel, guy. And I even got Mrs. The Baby in it. Also, I'm planting all of these honeydew seeds. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you guys wish that you could watch a whole 10 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes? 
minutes of me just doing this? Oh, I guess you need to subscribe to Capybara Mukbang Pooey Pooey then. Because I've literally been laying here for like an hour, two hours now, making this content for you guys because I love you, I appreciate you, and I want you to have a little ASMR to fall asleep to whenever you go to bed. Also, since I started making these videos, these guys love me so much more. But all right, time to go inside. Or is it? I can't get the Cappies inside, so I'm just going to let them stay out here and be cute. Just Petunia enjoying some cabbage and banana. But it sure is a nice evening. It's a shame this tree fell down, though, and how loud the road is, even at night here. I may never be a true ASM artist, but I sure hope you guys enjoy those videos I just made. And by the time this is posted, they should be up on the other channel by now. But also, just to show you guys, this normal egg weighs 54 grams, and this bad boy weighs 484 grams. So Rhea eggs are almost 10 times bigger than a normal chicken egg. That's it for now, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out our moich. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Finally. Oh, there's the little boy. You're trapped in here with me now, young man. <laughs> Please just let me kiss you. Please. See, guys, they let me pick them up. All right, whatever. Get out of here. Well, at least they're coming out now.